Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Go Graphic Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. It's your boy, Deco Graphic. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create a 3D logo on your Android smartphone using your PC app. And I'm teaching you step by step how you can present this logo on the Mac app using your photo P. Kindly sit down, relax, and watch from beginning because I'm going to show you how to get a logo. I mean, get a markup, download it. I will teach you how to extract this markup, and I will teach you how you can present this particular markup. I mean, your logo of any choice, how you can present it on markup using Photo P to set the uh, suitable result. So, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So, I've seen the time in myself, this is square size. I went in back to my gallery sharp, sharp, sharply, and then after that I will position this here. After I'm able to do that, or just scrub this a little bit, position it around here could be the best. Then after that, use your relative position to centralize it well. well. When you are able to do that, the next thing I want to do, I want to use a texture to make it this particular stuff to make it okay so let's start by using this particular one so in doing so what do i need to do let me rotate this then position it here and when you look at it give me perfect result that i want then when that has been done then the next thing i need to do is to go to the shape crop that shape and uh, you turn the opacity to zero then let your stroke carry whatever mark you want it to carry so let's take for instance mine is excuse let's say mine is 15 and then i'm going to position this around here if possible i will still reduce the size so let's say something like 10 okay after that position it to the center and you should be able to shift this as well okay good so the next thing i need to do is to apply a little color into this so let's say i apply something like deep into this then after that go back to your shape i mean to the gallery bring in the uh, element you want to use so that should be around here okay perfect 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 so the next thing we need to do to make this one work okay so i'm going to change the color the inner color let me change it to something like red then make it to be more obvious so when you look at that red whether it will work but to make everything work well what do i need to do so i need to divide this into two so make sure that uh, you lock the two stuff then copy when you copy although before you copy just tap on this and use your mask to cut it out and how do we do that just make sure that you drag it's open already but we need to paste something here when you paste this one here then we should be able to so take it for instance we'll position that one here okay and let this one come here so we're going to cut it without affecting anything okay so let this one come here okay okay cool okay very good so the next thing we need to do is to just cut it out so when you cut it out we are going to give it different color so take it for instance this one we get this color so when we are able to adjust or uh, 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 give that one this then we are going to copy so when you copy go to the mask and you click out so now you can actually position everything here so in position that what's next do we need to do change the color to color red and i think this is uh able to go along with that so the next thing we can do 
next thing we can do change the color and this is uh, somehow obvious so or better still we can just go into texture uh, uh, then we have apply the texture that should be the best okay and uh, go to the color remove the color perfect perfect so we are going to reselect again for us to be able to see okay so after we were able to do this then the next thing i'm thinking we should do putting the names so let's say we have a tj signature tj signature okay just increase the size and what kind of a font you can use here it's very simple just use a leaks like pattern okay cool then let there be space in between this right tab position it to the center so after you're able to do that consider the size of the logo when you are when you are you are trying to uh, know the size okay then the next thing we have subtopic so dealers on so dealers on makeup then auto gilly nails so we have auto gilly we have nails okay then the next thing we we put uh let's say and a uh, lot more so after that has been done the next thing we need to do is uh we need to just uh, position this under this and how that could be so we can reduce the size go into where you have the font and uh, type roboto font okay when you have this this should be okay then let there be space creating a space okay perfect so go to the relative position and position to the center uh you can have the color just use this to have the color changed so we shall be looking at it and see how everything will go so we like for instance like this we can come in there okay still have a touch of something so let's say in to save that time we can go to this place and uh, have everything change okay so delete that so that this can be obvious so another thing we need to do here we need to use a test shot for this to make it uh, okay and how can we do that just shift this towards the end or you make it like this then you can now increase and when they look at it they can tell whether they really so you adjust it okay but what about if we use it won't even work okay so i'm thinking we should replace this okay perfect perfect so let's add a stroke to this we'll add a stroke 
will make it uh, look okay perfect then after that shift this one up a bit we'll go in there bring in all the contact resources take it for instance okay <laughs> it's making sense so we are going to position this here okay then the next thing is to bring in the Facebook okay so you can bring this one down a bit so when you're able to do that you you can go back to gallery bring in the instagram icon position it as well too okay so the next thing we will need to do is uh we are going to copy then we have tj tj jams okay so jams Okay, increase the size. Okay, this is cool. Then we need to change the color. So we're changing the color to white as usual. Change the color. Then the next thing we need to do is to for you to copy this. So when you copy, So position these around here too. So this is cool, right? So reposition it well and reposition this well. then you can now match the two together and you move automatically so move them automatically to the center okay cool so when you're able to do that then the next thing we need to do is to put in the digit so copy then we'll have 0 8 0 15 0 1 okay good Okay, good. So now shift this one up a little bit. Okay. So after you're able to do that, but let's see come down or just be on this side. Okay. So we can centralize and put this one here. So when you do that you automatically Okay, good. And let there be space in between. Okay, this is perfect. Now mesh it together. Then position to the center. Okay, cool. Then the next thing to do is to shift. Okay, perfect, perfect. 
so the next thing we need to do whether we have a slagger so we bring you we bring out the beauty in you we bring out the beauty in you so we can look for script fonts that was suitable for that so let's say alicia um, alex so look at the one that is readable that can suit for that so you can scroll down to get phone that will be able to suit for that Okay, so we can make this one big anyway. Make it bigger, then you position it here. So when you're able to do that, increase, centralize it. Now we're good to go, and everything seems to be plumb. But you look at the logo itself; it actually is it okay. So we can go into this, and you have it reduced. Okay. just merge them after you make them we give you opportunity to reduce the size after reduce the size you use the opportunity to okay very good very good so now everything is set and what is the next thing we need to do so we need to save this okay save it just position it well and let it close at this a little bit. So how will you save? Just go to transparent background and uh, save it everything. Okay, now what we need to do next. I promise to teach you. So go to the Chrome browser. Just say 3D. 3D wall logo mockup free. So when you press that, you will have varieties of it. But if you want a glass on my cup 3, let's say we want if glass 3 gig wall. Glass markup. So now these are the variety of this markup. And what do we need to do? You need to just access one and these are them. So you scroll down, look at where you have download, and these are the formats. So download there will be the best. And if you don't want to download there, you can download this. This is another one. This is the left one, as you can see. So let us zoom want to download this. We can easily download this quickly. So now you can tap. Then you have this. So when you have this, you can download this here. And let's see how the thing will go. So it's counting. And it is soon start. When it started, then we are good to go. So now as you can see at the top, it's automatically downloading. And when you scroll down, you can see it here. 3D glass is downloading. You can see it. So we can go and still be marketing. And these are the kind of fonts, but this one you have to pay. So you can go back. Check this one at the left. I like this. I want to see something different. So you can go into download 3D and you have it downloaded. So now... When I tap on that um, mockup after downloading, it pop up. It pop up this because I have a Z archiver. Before you can extract uh, either PSD file or a phone to your phone for it to work, you need a, uh, uh, you need an application called Z archiver. After that, you tap on anything to bring that and you click once. This is the watch. This is the front view. This is the glass mockup I want. Just tap on it, click and extract, 
and where are you extracting it to so we say new book mock-up printing so i'm thinking of adding it here okay i'm thinking of adding it here and i will click okay so 3d 3d glass mock-up so we can still go in there this one is already done too so we quickly extract open it tap on that one click extract open where you want to put it so 3d glass window mock-up left front everything is okay now so now what we need to do is to come back i want to choose another stuff so i will go in there to photo p okay and we'll run it after running it the next thing we need to do after open we need to just tap on open from computer click on file locate where you have that mockup you just downloaded and you import it so go back okay so just come here so let me look at the front view first just tap on it and you wait for it to load now as you can see it's downloading you can tap here double tap here and you hide the, the eye icon beside it tap on this layer to be back click on the file click on open and place click on file locate where you have that mockup I mean the design we just made this is it and I've been putting it so once you done reporting you can increase your logo increase it very well but do make sure that it's not exceed anything so I'm indirectly looking at it after that make sure you position it to the center so when you're able to do that tap on file and click on save with smart object when you're able to do that look at the screen of your phone you will see smart object updated successfully once you see that you see smart object of data tap here when you tap you'll be looking at the screen of your phone in no time you will see the logo being transformed and as you can see we are good to go everything seemed to be okay as you can see look at it just look at that so it seems to be okay right so go to the file go to the export and tap on png another window will pop up you can just click on saved so now it is no more free for you to use photopea only if you subscribe so now you say you have to watch a short ad before you can proceed click ok at time network normally delay this don't think maybe you have uh, a issue with your phone but you have to wait it will start doing the advertisement like this after the advert close it it must been downloaded successfully you can see it's already downloaded and look at the results of what we just did is this not amazing thank for watching now i'm going to be back i will close everything one after the other let's still look forward let's use another the second markup for you to see that it's work so click open from computer and click on file look at where you have that marker we just downloaded again so which i have uh, i know where we save it so this is the left one so when you tap on it be looking at the screen of your phone in no time you will see what we call a psd file and this is it so you cannot tap on up a layer tap double tap here then you hide it when you hide click on file open and place click on file as well and you import this particular design we just made and you are going to increase the size a little bit okay perfect okay then click on file click on save with smart object then let me looking at the screen of our phone you can see on that too even up to 10 minutes you are able to even try to finish two work up at the same time so now type 3d be looking at the screen of your phone look at it everything seems to be okay so this is just for practicing sake as you can see and as you can look at it this is left so everything turned uh, to opposite side so you can have this one being what being downloaded as well and i believe this is helpful so tap on it then click on this to make an ad then you'll be looking at the screen of your phone you will see that automatically it will start the ad advertisement be looking at it one is done then you will see it automatically downloaded to your phone if your phone is not downloading you know it's network of your phone then you can 
turn up the network and on in again it must work thanks for watching don't forget to leave the comment behind if you find this video uh, useful thanks for watching